Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alert. Today we're talking about the 1973 horror classic, The Exorcist. So let's get started. The film takes place in Georgetown, where actress Chris McNeil is working and living with her 12-year-old daughter, Reagan. Chris has just finished the final scene of her film with her associate, Burke Dennings. After playing with an Ouija board, Reagan begins to act strangely, stealing and becoming violent. At a party that her mother hosts, Reagan tells an astronaut that he is going to, quote, die up there, and begins urinating on the floor. She later begins to shake violently in her bed in a very unnatural way. Chris meets with several doctors, but they cannot find anything physically wrong with her daughter. One night, when Burke Dennings is babysitting, Chris returns home to find that Burke has died from falling out of Reagan's window and falling down to the outside stairs. Burke's death is investigated by Lieutenant William Kinderman. He also interviews a priest and psychiatrist, Father Damien Karras, whose mother just recently died. Thinking that Reagan's condition is psychiatric, doctors recommend that she have an exorcism. Chris meets with Father Karras, and after recording Reagan speaking backwards and in languages that she couldn't know, along with having the words help me appearing on her stomach, Father Karras is convinced that she is actually possessed. Another priest is brought in to lead the exorcism, Father Marin, who has spent some time in Iraq and first encountered the demon Pazuzu, the same demon who is now possessing Reagan. Both priests witness the possessed Reagan's violent and vulgar actions, and the stubborn Pazuzu resists the exorcism and continues to toy with them, especially with Father Karras, oftentimes mocking him with the voice of his dead mother. Father Marin dismisses Karras, as he is showing weakness and attempts the exorcism alone. When Karras returns, however, he finds that Marin is dead. Karras attacks the laughing Pazuzu, and Father Karras demands that Pazuzu possess him. Once Pazuzu enters Father Karras, he throws himself from the window, mortally injuring himself, and the sacrifice leaves Reagan unpossessed. As Karras is dying, a friend, Father Dyer, administers his last rites. A few days later, we see Reagan back to normal, leaving for Los Angeles with her mother. The film ends with Lieutenant Kinderman and Father Dyer walking off and talking. So that was the spoilers for The Exorcist. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Remember to check us out on our various forms of social media, and to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.